Hi there YouTube, pretty excited right now. This has finally arrived. This is the Iris Scan. They're a subsidiary of Canon, I believe. Iris Scan Book 5 Handheld Scanner. Now, this is completely portable. Comes with a 4GB SD card, which will enable me to scan without a computer. So I could just scan pages of books. It comes with bundled OCR software. That stands for Optical Character Recognition. So let's open the box and see what's included. Right, so this appears to be the device itself. Um, apparently there's no manuals included, so it says to get started and it gives you a URL www.irislink.com forward slash start and a QR code. So, uh, yeah. And what's this? This is a mini USB cable. So that would be useful for charging the device. I'm not entirely sure if you can scan while it's connected to a PC. It'd be quite funky if it does. Because I think the battery only lasts for about a hundred images, which isn't really a lot. Oh, and there's the SD card. So that's a should be four gigabytes, but I can't really read that. Let's open the case. I can never open these. Ah, there. Let's see. Oh, it's branded Ivis. Four gigabyte. Cool. And there's a pouch. And is this the normal, oh, software serial? So I suppose you'll need that to activate uh, any OCR. Iris Pro 15. Um, I'm guessing that's Polish. Leggy me, I guess that's Italian. Um, not even going to try that. I'm guessing that's Mandarin though. Right, let's fire up this bad boy and do some scanning. Right, now one criticism of this scanner is that it's difficult to use. It's overly complicated, a lot of reviews say. Um, I don't think it's that bad. Um, I'll try and give you a rough overview on how it works. Now, to turn it on is a long press. Okay, you have a little SD card icon flash up. That means it's saving to SD card. I think that's the default. Uh, it's pretty simple. On here, you've got an option to save it in different formats. JPEG, PDF, and PDF multiple pages. So that's quite simple. I'm going to keep it on PDF. This top up button changes the DPI. So that's uh, dots per inch. So it's changed it to 300, 600, 1200. So that's quite simple. Um, and there are other options, um, playback, um, see what you've done, um, so that's about it. So uh, long key press is power off, so it's not too complicated. Okay, if you want some of the more advanced features, you'll probably have to have a look on the online manual. Um, but 
being a bloke, I haven't looked at the instructions yet. Really should. What I most like about this scanner is its portability. You can just throw it in your bag with your laptop and you can just go out for the day. Another advantage over a flatbed scanner is it's silent. It doesn't have any whirring motors, no flashing bright light, no clunking backwards and forwards. Being a book scanner, where it really comes into its own is scanning books like duh. <laughs> so I'll show you an example here. I've got a very old, nice antique book. Obviously, putting it on a flatbed scanner could damage delicate pages. Don't really want to do that. I quite like books and I think we should look after books you know, for future generations. So what I'm going to do now is just scan this very nice uh, map of London um, just for the benefit of this video and I'll show you how it turns out. Now I've set this on to PDF if you can see there. It's 1200 dpi so start scanning I just press the middle scan button. As you can see the Scan scanning lens, I think that's called, is offset to one side. That's designed so it can fit right in the margin of a book, which is ideal for what we're going to do now. So now that scan icon is there, we can slowly slide it over the page, being very steady and careful. And when we finished, press scan again. And now that shows a little preview of what we've just scanned. I think that's a great feature. It means you can see what you've captured. Um, so it doesn't come to a time when you're uploading, say, half a day later and you think, oh, that really didn't scan well, I'll have to do it again. I know that's now captured quite a good uh, image of that plan. Okay, so let's see how that's turned out now. Right, so now we've done all our scanning and I'm feeling pretty scanned out and uh, want to connect this to my PC and uh, just download the images I've taken. So I'll give you a very quick overview how to do that. Now first of all it comes with a micro USB cable so obviously fit that in the mini USB port on the side of the device plug it into your computer of choice and now to make it recognisable as an external drive long press the power button we now have a USB icon come up that means lo and behold that chime means that the PC has recognised it as an external USB drive and good I can now see all the scans I've taken so let's have a look and see how that map's turned out. Yes, it's the pretty good quality scan. Yes, that should be uh, usable. That's turned out really good. I'm quite proud of that. So, <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to show you using screen capture the live scan software that comes bundled with it. So, OK, let's check that out. Now, I've connected the device to the PC and I've started the Instant Result software. This will allow me to scan in real time and whatever I capture will appear on the screen. So let's give this a go. Let's click the Scan button and carefully position the scanner over the page okay, and slowly swipe the device over the page. Now I've selected this to be a colour image. You can also select it to be grayscale or an actual text page and then capture using the OCR. Right, that's done now, so if I click the scan again, we can now see 
what we've got. This is a 1920s representation of the Pool of London from an old book. Um, just quite like the picture and its colour. Nice vivid colours, cranes, boats. Scary. I guess that's a boy. Let's hope it's not a mine. That could go horribly wrong. Right, so quite happy with that. Now, how do we save this? Oh, we can rotate. Cool, that's rotated. Save image. Mm. Duh. Okay, I can save this as, let's say, nice picture pool of London. Cool. Now I'm quite happy with capturing images using instant result. Now let's give it a go on a page of text or a typical page with text and an image. Scary picture. Reminds me of somebody I know. Let's click scan and hopefully it's good to go. So again, slowly pull it over the text you want to capture, keeping it nice and level. Awesome. OK, click scan again to stop. Now I want to rotate this. OK, and let's try and export this to Word just see what happens. Or should I do OCR? Let's do it to Word first. Let's call that OCR content. Now hopefully that will save as a Word document. Let's try OCR again. OCR content. Yep, and that does exactly the same thing. That saves it as a Word document. So cool. If I go into my documents now, look for some Word documents. Ah, OCR content, that's both the same file size, so that's okay. So let's have a look at this. Four hours later. Woohoo! That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Look, it's captured the picture as well. I wasn't expecting that at all. Well, wow, awesome. That is amazing. Well, people have got different definitions of amazing, but I'm quite amazed with that. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. Gets two thumbs up from me. <laughs> And if you were curious to see how that plan of London turned out, here it is now. Yes, really nice quality. This is zoomed in quite a bit, but yeah, very pleased. Uh, just in case of copyright claims, this is Geographia 1923 Limited. So they're 55 Fleet Street, London, if they're still going. So uh, probably not, though. <laughs> so to quickly sum up, I really like this handheld scanner. Super easy to use, very portable. Um, yeah, one of my favourite gadgets at the moment. Very reasonably priced. You can pick this up at... Amazon for under 60 quid, um, which at the cost of regular flatbed scanner, seeing you can do a lot more with this is well worth it. Okay, I'll include the link below, and as always, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.